Hi, this is Gerald with Primo Web Solutions. Today I'm going to show you how to install Virtual Min on a minimal installation of CentOS 6.4. Uh, so first thing you need to do, of course, is just sign in or, uh, to your SSH client. On... Now since we have a clean installation of CentOS, uh, it's a minimal install, the installation will be very simple. Uh, Virtual Min does recommend that you have a fresh install of CentOS and ideally a minimal installation is great. Sometimes if you install a web server you might have um, issues with Apache so it's best to just have nothing installed yet and let Virtual Min install everything from its own repositories. So first thing we're going to do here is just make sure our system is up to date. Okay, so we have everything is up to date on the system. Uh, now we need to install prerequisites, uh, first being Perl. And since this is a minimal installation of CentOS, we shouldn't have any packages installed. Now we can actually go ahead and download the installer script, which will save us a lot of time in configuration. If you don't start, oh, see, since it's a fresh install, I actually need to install wget. Okay, so now we can go ahead and download the install script. And this will save us a lot of time. If you uh, are trying to install this on, on an existing webmin installation or anything like that, uh, the installation process can be very lengthy and the install script won't work. But if you are starting with the fresh installation of CentOS, all you have to do here is run the script and it will do all the work for you. So this is definitely the recommended way of installing Virtual Min. Uh, it'll save you a lot of headaches and time trying to tweak everything exactly the way you need it. So we'll go ahead and run our scripts. We'll say yes. And from here the script is going to do all the work. This takes a few minutes. A lot of times this will hang there for a little while, um, just loading. Uh, just give it some time, it will it will complete. After it's completed, we can go ahead and access our uh, Virtual Min control panel, and there will be some post-installation steps that we need to finish. Okay, so the installation is complete. Um, total install time could take about 13, 14 minutes depending on your setup. Uh, I only have one CPU enabled on this virtual machine, so it take, took about 14 minutes total time. Uh, obviously, uh, more resources would cut back on the time, so maybe five minutes or so. Now once you're done, you can go ahead and access uh, the Virtual Min control panel by visiting your IP address at port 10,000. Um, if, if you need uh, help going through the uh, post-installation uh, setup, you can go ahead and look at the next tutorial, uh, which is linked in the description of this video, and I'll walk you through what it looks like uh, during post-installation.